yesterday one of america's best known citizens had his ninety sixth birthday this man has received his country's highest honors earned the praise and respect of his fellow artists and the love and affection of millions of ordinary people from around the globe he is not a statesman yet he has done more than most in bringing people together he is not a religious leader but the message of love is at the forefront of all his work in the verse to one of his own songs he said what care I who make the laws of a nation that those who will take care of her rights and wrongs what care I who cares for the world affairs as long as I can sing her popular songs substitute the word right for sing and you have the essence of that most enduring and endearing songwriter of the century Irving Berlin God bless America land that I love Mr. Berlin you are as much a symbol of American patriotism as the second national anthem you wrote for us in 1918 through the night with a light from above last night you turned 96 as you watch your birthday tribute tonight from your home in New York we hope the memories of your life and songs touch you as much as you've touched our nation he is absolutely the, the champion undisputed champ uh, he's an absolute legend a great great composer great great lyricist uh, wonderful simplicity and, and melody. Uh, there are no words to describe him. <laughs> you know, he's been he's been too great too long you know, to deal with words on that. You know. Someone said, uh, "What is Irving Berlin to American music?" And the answer is, Irving Berlin is American music. There's no business like show business, like no business I know. In your Easter bonnet. With all the frills upon heaven, I'm in heaven. Mr. Berlin, the only thing that could be more fun than listening to your music is singing it. That's what makes Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet two of your greatest fans. Well, Irving Berlin had a unique ability to say simple things in a simple way. And I think that's probably why over the years he has remained uh, America's most prolific and successful songwriter. And you have to remember that Irving Berlin himself wrote both words and music, which made him a little special. You were four-year-old Israel Balin when your parents brought you to America from Russia in 1892. Years later, your childhood memories of Ellis Island moved you to put to music the poignant words inscribed on the Statue of Liberty. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. You found your ear for music early on. When your father died and you were only eight, you sang songs in the streets for just a penny. Later, you became an anonymous benefactor for the other struggling kids who grew up with you. But through your teens, you rolled up your sleeves and worked as a singing waiter. At 15, you published your first song, Marie from Sunny Italy, and you were on your way as a professional songwriter. I'll be loving you always. Always was a wedding gift to your wife, Ellen, the inspiration of your love songs for the last 60 years. Her disapproving father tried to stop the romance at first with bodyguards and detectives, but you got the girl, and you both still live happily ever after. He has written some of the best love songs, some of the best novelty songs, some of the best two-beat songs, four-beat songs, uh, comedy songs. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. We're having a heat wave. A tropical heat wave. Come on a hill, come on a hill, Magic gave us over 2,000 original songs, many performed by some of the greatest stars of all times. Fred Astaire and Bing Crosby, Jimmy Durante, Ethel Merman, Kate Smith, Al Jolson, and more. When I first met Irving Berlin, and I introduced myself, and I was really vibrating and shaking, because to me, I mean, he was like 
Uh, he's like Frank Sinatra, the songwriters, you know. And, and he didn't like for me to call him Mr. Berlin, and I couldn't find it in me to call him Irving because I just couldn't look at this great institution and say, Irving, I, I just couldn't call him Irving, and he didn't want me to call me Mr. Berlin, so we settled on Mr. B. Mr. Berlin played, for the most part, in the key of F, but he was able to play in any key because of this special piano that had a shift on the side of it and he would shift the piano into b flat but he'd still be playing in the key of f it's much like the uh, the frets on guitars you know when they they slide it on the neck they can change keys and uh, it was a, a magnificent accomplishment to say the least at the outbreak of world war ii patriotism swept through music and bolstered our spirits once again this time with the hit broadway musical this is the army you also gave us your personal touch when you sang this classic song in the 1943 movie version. For the hardest blow of all is to hear the bugler call. You gotta get up, you gotta get up, you gotta get up this morning. A lot of wonderful contributions were made by a lot of creative people from the various arts. But I think, uh, to paraphrase slightly John F. Kennedy, who said, I think the, the best and the greatest things that have ever been said about country, love, have been said by the American songwriter. And I think it's never been said better than it was by Evan Berlin. Last week, the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers paid tribute to 11 standards most performed over the last decade. Among them, one of the most beloved classics, honored here by ASCAP president, Hal David. And the next song, I'm sure all of us wish we could have written, White Christmas, Irving Berlin. White Christmas, I have heard in practically every language. It's really amazing. And every country thinks it's their song. <laughs> Come, let's mix. We're Rockefellers. Walk with sticks or umbrellas in the mix. Put on the rift. So much of his music is being rediscovered by a lot of young recording artists. And uh, Taco took uh, Putting on the Ritz and made it a hit. Putting on the Ritz. I just think he was... Uh, a rare, rare individual. I don't think as a composer and lyricist we'll ever see the likes of someone like Irving Berlin again. In 1954, President Eisenhower presented you with the Congressional Gold Medal. And tonight, we send the most heartfelt of wishes. Mr. Irving Berlin, just with all the respect and admiration, I'd like to wish you a beautiful and happy birthday. I'm a big fan. Happy birthday, Mr. Berlin. And thank, thank you. Thank you. We all love you. Irving, I congratulate you again and again. I want to make it many, many, many more. Happy birthday, dear Irving. I wish I were you. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And we'll continue our celebration of Irving Berlin's birthday next with Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. <laughs> America's most beautiful rose garden is right here in Southern California. Thousands of roses in full bloom. 750 different varieties in the famous Pageant of Roses Garden at Rose Hills Memorial Park. Visit the All-America Test Garden. See new roses of the future grow. Open every day, daylight hours. Admission and parking are free. Rose Hills in nearby Whittier. A beautiful place to visit. Come see it. personally don't have any trouble staying away from these Laura Scudder's potato chips. It's... Why? I could stop eating them anytime I wanted to. It's... See? It's not me. It's not. It's my hand. It's my... It's my hand. It is my hand! It's my hand! Laura Scudder's potato chips, they're just too good.
And now, to continue our salute to Irving Berlin on his 96th birthday, here are two of the great saluters, Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. <laughs> That lifts you when you're down. The headaches, the heartaches, the backaches, the flops, the sheriff who escorts you out of town. The opening when your heart beats like a drum. The closing when the customers don't come. I got no diamonds, got no pearls. Still, I think I'm a lucky girl. I got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. She got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. I got no mansion, got no yacht. Still, I'm happy with what I got. I got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. He's got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. And with the sun in the morning and the moon and the evening warm. Something that must be done, and it can only be done by one. There is nothing more to say. Excuse our dust when we step on the gas. Oh, we'll be there. Putting on the top hat. Tying up a white towel. Brushing off the tail. Stepping out with my baby. Can't go wrong, cause I'm in right. Ask me when. Will the day be, the big day may be, tonight? In your Easter bonnet, with all the frills upon it, we'll be the proudest couple in the Easter parade. Happy holiday. On the avenue. Happy holiday. Fifth Avenue. May your days be merry and bright And may all your Christmases be
How much do I love you? I'll tell you no lie. How deep is the ocean? How high is the sky? And if I ever lost you, how much? Would I cry? How deep is the ocean? How high is the sky? singing and there's no one there. I smell blossoms and the trees are bare. All day long I seem to walk on air. I wonder why. I wonder why. I keep tossing in my sleep. Business, I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything the traffic will allow. Nowhere can you get that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra pound. There's no people like show people. They smile. Oh. 